What's up guys? My name is Stupid Trick, so mostly known as Pele. Welcome to this updated um, edit mode tutorial on how to get all the kits pretty much for the teams that are on the on the game. So I'm just gonna show you guys pretty much how to get all the kits. I'm gonna give you a new link to everything. It's a it's called a Pez 2016 Day One Mega Pack, and it's pretty much from Pez Galaxy. Um, pretty much the same one I used before. So I will give you guys an in-depth uh, what it has, what it will bring you guys, and pretty much what is in it for each team. So pretty much what it has on, it has a the Premier League kits, has a, the Football League uh, Championship kits, it has the Premier League, which is the Portugal League. For now, they haven't finished that. It's only Boa Vista and Benalese. That's the Portuguese League. Um, but I don't actually, I didn't put that in the game because it will take so much time for me. I just put some very like my Barclays Premier League is is fully done, so you can pretty much see my Barclays Premier League is done, and and everything is pretty much done with it. So that's how each will look. It looks pretty sick. It is the same kit as the ones I had. Um, this one will just have everything. It will just have managers and everything you need. I'm not gonna show you guys every single team because this are on my previous video um, that I made. Uh, all my lances BPL and. Um, and um and my sky bet league championship team so you guys can just refer to those videos it's the same uh, thing but if you need like kits for national teams and clubs like the the argentinian primera uh primera uh, the Vizal, um you can pretty much get it i'm just showing you guys some of the kits that will be included in it most of these are pretty much included and one thing that i just want to show you guys real quick if most of you guys didn't know if you want to add a third kit, what do you do? You press square and then it will say at uh, outfield player third kit. As I already added um, Averton third kit, if I press square, I can add a fourth kit. That way, if they have one. If there's one made, you can use it. If there's not one, that means then you can't update. But in most cases, um, you can't do third kits. Um, they, they try to put, give you three kits for on uh, for outfield players. So right there, you can see and you can just press X on it. And it will pretty much, you'll be able to do it if you have one. If you don't have one, then um, just delete it and that will be easy. Now, issues that came up with the with the previous video is people will be asking if it works for Xbox. Xbox users, um, the, I haven't seen a, a kit for you guys. I think you guys actually have to wait for option 5. Same thing with the, PS, with the uh, PS3. You guys have to wait for a PlayStation, for a, a PlayStation 3 for option 5. Um, because I haven't seen really anything that really works for you guys. Now for PC, I'm pretty sure you can go to uh, Pez uh, Fan or Pez Galaxy or Pez Universe, Pez World. There's a bunch of Pez there, so just you can just Google them. I'll link I'll leave the links in the description. You can just Google them and you pretty much get a bunch of them, and you can pretty much use them and uh, see what you want. So again, guys, that's pretty much what you do. You do need a USB. The USB I'm using right now. I'm just gonna let you guys know what I'm using. I am using a Sony. Uh, 16 gig um, it, it doesn't have any issues importing uniforms it doesn't have any issue at all with anything so it really it, it works efficient I think a 16 gig will actually work better I do have a 32 gigs I did, did have some issue with it not being recognized by the PS4 but I think it's because I had so much file on it so make sure you don't have too many files on the USB that way it would work better for you and uh, yeah because uh, a lot of the comments in the previous videos from my kit videos, you guys were asking, um, why is my thing not showing up? What's going on? Um, help me with this. Help me with that. So just make sure you have at least a 16 gig uh, USB. And in the USB, you want to have a folder that says WePass. So um, WePass, pretty much you put all the pictures in there and all that stuff. So also the team names, you can get them um, online or you can pretty much, you'll pretty much it'll be in order. Um, uh, when they when they give you the when you download the, the 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 pack, it will be in order, so you can pretty much go each team and you can just select them. Yeah, also, you can just go, you just can just go to game game plan if you really want, and you can see what players they have and you recognize them right away. So for now, um, I'm gonna repeat again that the kits that it involves that this pack has it has the Premier League, it has the Football League um, Champions, which is Sky Bet League. Um, it has the Premier League, which is the Portugal League. It's only two teams so far, Boa Vista and Belenenses. Um, it have the Sasu Sosuolu kits, which is the, I'll show you guys right now. It has this kit right here that is not in the game. It's the only team from Serie A that's not in the game, but you can pretty much update it. Uh, what happened to my symbol? Actually, that's not my emblem. Let me update that emblem real quick. Um, 
So you can pretty much update the emblem uh, and all that stuff, but I'm pretty sure I have the emblem right here. Um, the emblem, everything is in that pack, so it's easier for you. You have the kits, you have the emblem, you have the 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 manager, you have the name of the manager and all that stuff. So this is the kit that you pretty much have too. Um, it's pretty simple. It's uh, the only team that doesn't have their own kits for Serie A, so you do have their own kits, and it's pretty simple, so it's not nothing hard. Actually, I think they do not have their kit right now. Why is that? Um, actually, I'm not gonna bother with this because it's gonna take a while for me to find. Because if I go to pace man thing, oh, actually they're right here. I think this is their home. Uh, I think that's their home. Uh, that's first. Yep, this is their away kit. I'm just doing this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm doing it by memory. But I think that's it right there. Home away, and goalkeeper is goalkeeper is this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's that one. If it's not that one, then just correct me. But I just did that by, by just space out. But that's pretty much their kit that you will also get. You will also get a, the European national teams kit. So pretty much any teams from um, Europe, any national teams, you will get their kit. So I'll show you guys. I didn't do every, all of them. I did one from each conference just so you guys have an idea of what they look like. So I did do England because England is pretty much most of you guys probably know the team and the kits. So this is these are the kits right here. This is how it is. Um, it is not very super designed, but it has a close emblem and close reference to it. Um, that's how the kit looks. And the goalkeeper, it's more a bit more creative. I think it's just simple that way. Um, it makes better. Uh, it make uh, it make it looks good. They don't have that much sponsor and stuff like that. Also, you do get African national teams um, kit. I will show you guys one from there, which is South Africa. Um, this is how the kits you look for South Africa. Uh, that's their kit right there. Now, one thing I want to point to you guys: the numbers, the markings. When you go to markings, you can change. You can change anything. So sometimes it will come on with a chest number. You can turn that off. The text in the back, you can change the color. That, they don't do it. You have to do it. So you can change it to any color you want. Or if you want to make it as realistic, you can just go on Google and put the number and thing, and you can change it. Um, that is all up to you, though. Um, some people put on the, on the comments in my previous video that the kits, the numbers are wrong and the, all the colors are wrong. But I'm like, yes, you can change all that stuff. That's all up to you because they can't really put that in the in when they're designing the kit. So that's up to you, just so you guys know. So if you guys see... One kit that has a, a color that they don't have, it's actually because um, it, it, it's your, you have to do it manually. They can't do it in the kit. Now, the other, the other um, uh, kits you guys get, it's a South American national team kit. So if I go to South America, I'm going to show you guys Argentina, how it looks. So Argentina, pretty much, this is Argentina's home kit. Uh, you guys can see it's pretty simple. You guys do see the number. You can't see it really clear. You can always change that. Just go to marking and you can just change that if you're on the PS4. This is mostly for the PS4, but I'm pretty sure it works for the PS3. But if you can import images, then you have to wait for an option file. Xbox users, I will leave a link to Dino's um, Facebook page. You will have to buy the option file because he's the only person that actually does it. So how would that option file works for Xbox? I'm pretty sure you will get a, his account, one account he makes that you will allow people to use. And you can only use it offline. And uh, that's pretty much how it's gonna work. And you can pretty much use it and do whatever you want to it. You will have all the kits, um, probably all the teams that he makes and all that stuff. I will leave the link in the description for you guys, for Xbox users, that you guys will get it. PC users, if you has, if you have any questions, just make sure you you can just leave it in the comment and I'll answer it um, of the best, uh, best of, best the best way I can. Um, I know I'm speaking really fast. I'm, it's about to be 12 o'clock a.m for me so I'm trying to get this done for you guys that's why I didn't uh, do everything so um f the other also kits you guys get you guys get the North Central American national team kits so we're gonna roll right there I did the United States cause as I live in the United States so I might as well show you guys what the United States looks like this is the United United States kits that's how the the, the home kit looks um I think that's their away kit that's how it looks that's actually the gold cup version 2015 kit right there and their goalkeeper they have two that you can change it either from that one or um there was another one and i think it's this one right here or this one yes so you can change either this one or the black or the yellow but i do like the yellow so i'm gonna stick with the yellow it's your preference uh goalkeepers you can't add the third kit as you can see it's only outfield third and fourth so it's up to you to what you want to do now the other kits we also have is classical teams national classical teams uniform so if you go to Europe uh, classic 
Casco teams, we can go to uniform and we can see they have their own kits. See how look that, that sick that looks. That that is pretty much the best players. That's pretty much legends from Europe. Uh, European classic means your legends from Europe. Um, you can also change change the number and stuff like that. But that's how it looks. It looks pretty sick. I do actually like it. Now I don't know how they actually managed to make that. Where did I get those from? Because I actually never knew they actually had a European All Star team or a legend team. But that those are how they look. They look pretty sick, and they also have the world classic uniforms this is pretty much world pretty much world what i mean it's pretty, most of the time it's rest of the world like not europe anywhere else uh outside of europe so brazil argentina uh all the other places and stuff like that so those look pretty sick too um the goalkeeper one looks pretty sick it says save the children and the sponsor which is pretty awesome um so yeah those are the ones you get and the other ones obviously you get you get all the you get all the um what I was gonna say, you get all the, the the club emblems, so you get all these emblems. How you say all the all the emblems? You get all of these pretty much. Um, all of the Barclays Premier League, the Serie A that you need, um, pretty much anything you need. You do get all the competition logos. Competition logos are pretty much. Um, I'll show you guys. So if you guys can see, I changed the Barclays Premier League uh, emblem. That's the, pretty much you get those two Serie A, Serie B, um, Premier League, which is the Portuguese league. The Brazil League, the Argentinian League, the Chilean League, all that stuff, you get all those emblems, which is pretty good. You also get the manager pictures. I know I'm going over this really quick, but I just want to get this done for you guys so you guys have a better understanding of how this works. You also get the manager's pictures, which is pretty awesome. You also get list of club team names. So you do get the names of the club, that way you can just put it in yourself if you haven't already. You also get the list of cor correct competition names, so you get all the the name of each competition, what each means. Because the the Barclays Premier League is called the English League, which is it's fine, it is the English League, but you want to have the legit name, which is the Barclays Premier League. And the other ones, um, like the Brazilian Bra Brazilian League, it's, it's the Brasileiro Chevrolet. Um, that is pretty much what it is. You get all of those. You also get one thing that most people don't get is the, all the national team players correct name so you get the name some of the national teams do not have correct names um i'm gonna i'm not gonna go over which ones but if i actually look at it real quick i'm gonna give you guys one that actually i was looking at um i was looking into some of some of them so if i go in fake name if you go on the folder and you open it and i go on i want to see which one i think it's this one I'm not going to bother with it, but if you go on national team, some of the teams, like in Bolivia, some of the players do not have their real name. So you do want to know their real name. You can just go on there and it will tell you, it will give you a text telling you what each player name is. And you can change that if you want. That's not as, as important as the kits because at the kits is what is very, uh, very important. You can also, you also get the list of all rival teams. So as you can see from my Barclays Premier League Arsenal. Um, if I go to rival club, I have all the teams there are right there rival. So you can get, you get those also. So if you want to put those in, it will give you a better understanding of the game. So when you're playing, if you're playing Tottenham, the commentator will pretty much say they're playing their rival and stuff like that. It, it makes it look better and cool. So those are pretty much what you get. Um, I just want to show you guys a quick tip that I do. Um, what you do is you don't go, if you're on PS4, you go to data management, you go to import. And it will say that pretty much. And the size, guys, this is what a lot of people be asking me. The resolution for the size is 64 by 64 or 2000, 2048 times 2048 pixels. And it can only be a JP, JPEG or a PNG format, the picture. So make sure your kits are that. You need that. That's very important. The other thing is, if you are importing uniforms, if you are importing uniforms, Click uniforms, but only select uniforms. Do not select team manager pictures or team emblem. If you are importing team emblems, same thing. Only team emblems. That is very important because you have you don't have enough space. So you have you don't have a lot of space. You do have a limit. So make sure what you put on each is that exactly thing. So make sure you do that. That's very important if you are doing this. Now if you are done with it, after you are done, you can delete the pictures if you want, if you don't need them. Other than that, you are good. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.